Hi everyone, this is Christian in the Pure Fix Garage. Today, we're gonna to show you how to build up a track bike from scratch. This is our Kieran Pro track frame set. It's a new track frame we're offering made with triple butted aluminum, hydroformed tubes, a new aerodynamic fork, and also a cutout in the seat tube for improved aerodynamics over the rear wheel. You can buy the frame and build it up yourself, or you can buy the complete version in our online shop. This is actually a bike we're gonna ship out to a customer, so I'm gonna walk through the build process with you so you can see it all happen. We're gonna go to the main drive system on the bike and install your bottom bracket and crank set. This part will have markings on it to tell you which side goes in the drive side and the non-drive side. And let's go ahead and put a little grease on that too. Always install the drive side first, so then your non-drive side will torque against it. Go ahead and get your bottom bracket cups finger tight. Let's rely on our torque wrench to get it down to the proper tightness. We're gonna go ahead and torque this down so it's ready to go. Now it's time to install our crank set. We're using a two-piece SRAM Omnium. This is one side, chain ring, and crank all built together. Go ahead and slide this through. Now install your non-drive side crank, being sure to make sure that you clock it correctly to the drive side. Go ahead and tighten this down to the manufacturer's specifications using an eight millimeter Allen wrench. Let's throw some wheels on this ride. I'm gonna use our 30 millimeter wheel set with sealed bearings and machined sidewalls for braking surface. I also put a new set of Gator Skin tires on here. These are a great tire for all around city riding and have great puncture resistance. Next up, we're gonna install a chain. This is the ACS Crossfire chain. This chain is a little more durable than our standard chain and it also comes with a master link so you don't need a chain breaker tool when installing and uninstalling the chain. You will still need it to size it correctly to the bike though. Now that we've got our chain cut to size to the bike, let's go ahead and install it and tighten up that rear wheel. There we go, drive train installed. Next, let's go ahead and install the fork. We've picked an upgrade full carbon fork that PureFix offers. Take your headset out of the package and you're gonna wanna put this on exactly how it comes out. Bottom race on top of the fork, bottom bearing. Now put in the top bearing, the bearing wedge, plastic shim, and the top of the headset. There you go. Use the appropriate amount of spacers for where you'd like your stem to be. For this build, I'm upgrading the handlebars to a set of Neato track bars. These are imported from Japan and by far one of the best bars to use on a track bike. I've already installed the handlebar onto the stem to make this a little quicker. Put the stem on the steer tube of the fork and just lightly tighten these bolts down. This compression plug will expand inside of the steer tube to grip the carbon fiber fork and pull your headset bearings into the proper adjustment. There's a five millimeter Allen you're going to need to tighten inside, then use your six millimeter Allen to snug it down. At this point, we're gonna be setting the bearing adjustment. Loosen up both previously snug bolts so that the stem can move on the steerer tube. Give the six millimeter bolt a very slight tight. You should feel no play in the headset. Before finally tightening our bolts, we're gonna go ahead and put our front wheel in so it's easier to align our stem. Go ahead and line up your wheel to the stem and tighten down your stem bolts. There you go handlebars installed. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put a set of clipless pedals on this bike. These are great if you wanna be more efficient and get a little bit more speed out of your ride. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and pull the bike off the rack and put an upgraded Pro Logo saddle on it. Installing this saddle requires a six millimeter Allen wrench. Make sure the saddle's nice and level. Go ahead and tighten it down. Adjust the saddle to your riding position and you're pretty much ready to ride. You can build your own bike from scratch and find everything you need in our parts section online. Or you can now buy the complete bike and have it delivered right to your house. Thanks for checking out another episode of Pure Fix Garage. If you have any questions about the track build, let us know in the comments below or hit us up on social media. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos to keep your bike in tip-top shape. Keep the rubber side down and we'll see you next time.